Hello, friend Mormo here, and tonight I'm working on my art card business, and I want to show you what I got real quick. This is the new Gizzards card that's gonna get prints made, and it's gonna go to San Diego to sell at a show, and uh, I'm just doing this as a punk rock worker and all the money goes to the bands and everything but I'm gonna save one print of this and I'm gonna make another DPI card tonight and I'm gonna save one print and then I'm gonna hold on to them for a while and then I'm gonna sell it on eBay the one print and here's my other prints that I have for sale right now and uh, here's my thank you cards uh oh Here's my thank you cards. So I'm gonna take a thank you card out and an envelope. And uh, I gotta decide about pictures, if I'm gonna include pictures. Actually, I need two cards. I should've just taken them all out of the package. I'm gonna mail two packages tonight and uh, here's my original art. This is the original art piece. And you can see, maybe you can see it signed there. And um, this is getting sent in the mail tonight. And I'm gonna include two prints with that order as a bonus. And I'm gonna include some stickers. I got these stickers here to include. And I'm gonna include photographs. And uh, I got another package of these glossy photographs, but it's only one style. Like one of these photographs is gonna go out of print soon, but I have like this glossy photograph. And then I have, um, I guess I have quite a few actually. They're not gonna go out of print very soon. I got this photograph and so I gotta decide if I'm gonna include those photographs in with these um, pictures. I, Cause I know I've sent photographs before to both of these people that are getting art cards tonight. So I might just skip the art cards and just do the prints. Here's the original and the two prints. And, uh, and then, so that's one card. Uh-oh, oh, here's the other card. And, uh... There's that, and uh, what else? Oh, stickers, I gotta do stickers, and um, that's probably it. I don't think I'm gonna include photographs with these cards. I think I'm just gonna do the prints and stickers. So, thanks so much for watching, and keep watching. Hello, friend, I'm back. I have two envelopes I'm gonna take to the post, to the mailbox, and uh, it's dark out. I waited until it got dark to do my delivery, but I have a flashlight. I have a flashlight here so I can see where I'm going while I deliver these um, letters these packages one of them was a sale on ebay the other one is a birthday gift for a team member and i'm gonna deliver them now so keep watching keep watching okay friends so i delivered the envelopes um i picked up a letter i got a card from my mom and there was a um $50 Google Play card in there so I can hook up my friends on YouTube 
with um, super chats and super stickers and stuff and super thanks. So now I can use that gift card to um, thank my friends and stuff online for what they do on YouTube and that's really awesome. And then I went on my phone and uh, I marked the eBay sale as shipped and then I left feedback on the buyer and uh, now I'm gonna go um, I'm going to work on an art card. I'm going to draw an art card of, of the band DPI for my punk rock project. And uh, so keep watching. Hello, friend. I'm in my studio and I'm working on an art card. I'm going to show you a behind the scenes of my battle station. And uh, I got the card. I've been working on the card. I um, had to find a play. I'm I'm making all of the images off of my documentary, Punk versus Punk, and I'm just pausing the documentary and then drawing the card. And uh, this was it was tough finding a good scene to get all of the band together I was too close when I filmed this and didn't get like all of the band in the shot very much but uh, I did my best so let's just look and see now you can see here's the image I went off of a still from my documentary punk versus punk and here's the card that I drew and I used this micron pen and there's the card that I drew and there's all of my sharpie markers I'm going to use to color it in and uh, that's what I'm doing I'm just working on my art card business and like I say I'm not doing this project for money it's all the money goes to the bands that's the kind of like shit worker I was back in the day I would work for the bands and just raise money for the bands and stuff and uh, never really made any never really made much money for myself it all went towards the band except for the zine I think I kept all the money I made on the zine or something like that i don't know it was like 20 years ago but anyways keep watching and you can see and you can see the finished dpi card so keep watching okay friends so there's the finished dpi card and i haven't signed it yet i still need to sign the back but uh, that's what the DPI card looks like. And uh, these bands were like my friends when I was in, high, in San Diego. And I was um, real crazy back then, just a very crazy person. But uh, I know that the cards will sell for good money and raise money for the bands and stuff. So that's why I'm doing it and keep watching. This is going to be a long video um, tomorrow or the day at, well, no, today's Wednesday. So I have either tomorrow or Friday, I'll take them down to the uh, print shop and have prints made of the cards and uh, then I'll cut them and sign them and uh, all that. And, uh, but here's the DPI card and keep watching, keep watching. Okay, friend, it's the next day. I have these two cards done. I'm going to take them to get the prints made today. And I got the Snickers iced coffee by Victor Allen's and I got it at Dollar Tree. And uh, let me open the can. I just 
bit all my nails off in the shower. Here I'm gonna drink the Snickers iced coffee now. Mmm. Wow. It's very good. And it's gonna give me energy to get these prints made. So keep watching. Okay, friend, I'm here at PostNet in Hollister. At, um, right behind the come and go, I got my two cards, so I'm gonna get them printed up. So keep watching. Hello friend, I'm back home. I got the prints all taken care of. Here they are. They're um, 21 cards per sheet. And the guy in the um, copy store must be like my angel. He helps me out so much with this business. And uh, I went ahead and gave him a tip on his link tree. He publishes comic books and stuff, so I gave him a tip to help with his comic books and stuff. But here they are, the sheets, the main sheets of prints. And keep watching because I'm going to cut them next. Okay, friend, here I am. I'm going to start cutting these prints they're all you got to realize that they're all hand cut by the artist and uh, hand signed and numbered I'll do that next after I cut all of these up and there's gonna be 21 prints I'm gonna ship 20 cards of each card to San Diego in protective, uh, in protective, um, cases because they're going to be sold at a punk show. So they need to be in a protective case or else they'll just get all bent up and messed up and stuff. And so... I'm just gonna carefully cut. And I could have the guy at the copy store cut them. I could pay him to cut them. But I think, um, I think it makes the cards a little more valuable if they're hand cut by the artist. So that's why I just cut them myself. And, You know, hand cut by the artist is kind of cool, I think. I think it's pretty cool. And, uh, here we go. I'm just gonna cut. There's the first print. There's the first DPI print. Finished. I think I, there's like a little bit of extra at the bottom, but I think I'm gonna keep it there. Just so that these are the right size. That's the one rule of art cards, is they have to, um, they have to be two and a half by three and a half inches. So there you go, friends. There's the first three DPI prints. I'm just gonna keep cutting, but next, I'll sign <coughs> and number the prints, so keep watching. 
Okay, friends, I got 21 Gizzards cards, 21 DPI cards, and I started signing them. I signed the first one, Search Mormozine, my autograph, and then one of 21, I'm numbering each one. And so I just got to go through and write on each card and uh, then I'll put them in these uh, plastic cases and thanks so much to um, my team member who hooked me up with those uh, plastic cases really appreciate that so now I'm just gonna sign all the cards so keep watching Okay, friends, so I got all of the cards signed and dated, and, or not dated, but rather numbered, autographed and numbered, and I wrote Search Mormozine on there. So now I just gotta put all the cards in a protective case, like this, that's my next step, is putting all of the cards in a protective case. And it really bums me out to have to ship all this plastic but um, they're going to be sold at a punk rock show so they need protection or else they're just going to get bent up and messed up and so um, and like I don't want to put it on the bands to get their own protective cases the show's coming up in like 22 23 days so there's not really time for them to get the cases and stuff so i'm just gonna put all these cards in the cases and bundle them up and ship them so keep watching okay friend i got all the cards in plastic cases now so now oh i just got lightheaded how weird I'm gonna take a um, rubber band and I'm gonna wrap these cards in a rubber band so they, oh shoot, the rubber band snapped. I'm gonna wrap these in a rubber band so they don't get messed up in shipping. Uh, maybe I'll do a big rubber band going long ways to so that they don't get messed up in shipping. And uh, I'm so excited. I so wish I could go to this show. It's just I'm like disabled and shit. And can't really do stuff like that at this time. So here's my two bundles of cards. 20 cards each and then there's the two originals i'll wrap rubber bands around those two the two originals and then so now i got the two sets of 20 the two originals and then I got the two prints I'm gonna keep. I'm keeping one of 21, the first card. Um, the first prints I'm gonna keep and I'm gonna list them on eBay for um, my non-San Diego fans. And now I'm gonna sign some photos to include in the package. So there's a signed photo. I don't know if you can see the signature. I guess you can't see the signature anyways. And I'll sign one of these. Signed photo. And then I'm gonna do some stickers for my punk rock friends because I know if I send them stickers, they'll get my name up all over San Diego. So I'm gonna get a bunch of these stickers. 
and I'm almost done with this project. I just got to get up tomorrow. I got an energy drink in the fridge, and then I got to go take him to Postmate to get him shipped to San Diego. I don't, I'm not real good at shipping stuff, so I'm not even sure if these are gonna go in a box or in an envelope, I just don't know. But I'm gonna do lots of stickers. So that my name can get up all over San Diego. And uh, I guess I'll talk to you tomorrow. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Oh no, I don't have my marker. I don't have my black Sharpie marker. Anyways, I'm just gonna sign all these stickers and include them in the package. And uh, keep watching because tomorrow I'm gonna ship all of these to San Diego. So keep watching. Hello friend, I'm outside of PostNet, you can see behind me, and I'm going to get these cards shipped today, and uh, I'm not sure how I'm going to go about shipping them, but luckily I got my friend at the copy store to help me out, so keep watching. Okay friends, so the cards shipped and they got picked up today. They're gonna to be in San Diego by Wednesday. And um, they're just in a little box about this big. And uh, it costed 27 to ship, so it was pretty pricey to ship. So I was hoping I could offer this package for 40, but I ha may have to reconsider that. I might have to, I don't know, but I'm hoping this could lead to more work with more punk bands and stuff. And uh, it was an awesome project. Thanks so much for watching me get through it. And uh, I hope the cards sell well. I told, I said that the minimum price for a print should be five, and the minimum price for an original should be 40. So all in all, that would be a $280 uh, retail for the prints. Plus, I still got one copy of the prints to sell myself. And, uh, but, and I'll probably put those at auction. But um, ca art cards are such a great business. They're really awesome to do. And uh, I'll put a link to my eBay store in the description if you want to check out what I have available. And uh, definitely um, recommend picking up art cards and getting into the art card business. It's just so awesome. And thanks so much for watching. And uh, thanks so much.